And welcome to my playhouse. And today we're gonna try and upgrade my V Center. VMware has come out with a new release of their ESXi uh, software. They, uh, they went from 6.5 to 6.7. This is not new, this was back in April, I believe. I have been waiting a little bit because I'm getting really tired of these software Avengers and hardware Avengers uh, releasing stuff that isn't nearly complete. So, um, well, well, I think now that there is a B release out, I think we should try and um, upgrade my vCenter. Um, also, I would like to make a shout out to Sasha from the UK, who uh, saw my video on my, um, on my Dell laptops here, get over here, that I got from Nordic Computers, and I only had some really old crap as normal disks to put in it. So Sasha, packaging is not your thing. Oh, actually last time you sent me something, it was way too well packed. This one, that's a bit dodgy. So, um, but Sasha sent me a very awesome Samsung SSD and it's not just, it's the Pro Edition. It's the 850 Pro, 512 gigabytes. So that is gonna be going into that laptop. Absolutely awesome. With that out of the way, what is vCenter? vCenter is a appliance or a Windows server that makes it possible for you to combine all your VMware hosts into one view and uh, transfer virtual machines forth and back and do a lot of other different awesome stuff like high availability. Like if one of the hosts dies, well, the virtual machine that was on that host will just emerge on one of the other hosts. Also, there is the possibility of having the same virtual machines on two hosts and one of them will be the master and the other one will be the slave or active or inactive. And if the active one disappears, well, this one will be running along as if nothing happened. Um, and you need vCenter for that stuff. I do want to go install ESXi 6.7 at some point, but this time I think I want to try and upgrade my vCenter first. So let's go to the computer. Okay, at the computer, you of course want to go download this um, VMware vCenter. So we're going to type in vCenter download there. And it comes up with, um, you should go to VMware WebSphere. They have been used. And yes, they do. If we go to VMware, there we have it. You can download the new uh, hypervisor right there. There's the new vCenter. Uh, right there it's the 6.70b i want to download that i am logged in with my free account and up here it tells me that i have already used my trial version which is of course a problem because i am then not able to download or am i get free trial I don't know. no um it's out of time and date so I have to do a bit of dutchy searching. So what I did, I um, I added ISO download right? because I know this is an ISO file. So if I add that and search, well, I get some more dutchy sites down here. Usually they're on page number two. And I came across this dude who um, who tells me what this ISO file is called. So um, I went there. And I am currently downloading this ISO file, which we're gonna be installing in a little bit. But never mind that. Let's go and upgrade my vCenter as it is. Right now I'm running vCenter, VMware vCenter Server Appliance 6.5.0.1400. That's not the newest version. Let's check here. Um, this is inside vCenter server appliance. You add this port number when you go to the server and it will um, it has this interface and there's an update option here. There. And it has forgotten about me so I have to log in again. There. Okay. We'll try that again. Update. And up here we can check for updates. Check repository. 
that means it will ask VMware if there is something new. And there is. This one is from January and this one is from June, July. Actually, uh, oh, that's last checked. Okay. My thought is that probably when we're going to be upgrading this, um, my best guess is that VMware will have checked the newest version the most. So I'm going to install, uh, upgrade this one to the newest version and then we're going to be upgrading that. So we'll just upgrade all here. License agreement. Okay. This usually takes forever and ever. I'm not gonna join that program. So upgrading. That's I'll be back. This is just next next finish. So uh, be back when this is done. Okay, it's um, done. Let's check the OK button. And it wants to wonder if it wants to reboot now. Yes, it wants to reboot. It, it can take some time to reboot this, so I'll cut again and be back when it's up and running and we can see the new version. Okay, that didn't take nearly as long as I had anticipated, so it's already up and running again. Um, and we have the version up here, so that's a new version. Um, so now I'm ready to upgrade this, hopefully, being on the latest version of the 6.5.0 um i believe that that is probably something that vmware will have tested that that is available to um, to upgrade to uh, 6.7 so but i see that my iso file is still downloading um i used up my um, my trial version back in version 6 since then there has been a 6.5 6 and now 6.7 so um yeah, it's just why don't I get a new trial version when they come out with a new release? Okay, so the file has downloaded here. It's that one, and I have uh, opened it uh, with Win, not Win Zip, but Win Seven, um, and I have unpacked that. Don't need that anymore. Into a folder here. If we go into that folder. There is something, there is a UI installer, there's a, a client, if you want to type everything, and there is a UI. So we'll go in there and Linux, Mac, Windows, installer. And I'm guessing this is where we install this. There we go. Don't need the files here. Remove. And we want to upgrade. So there are different install, migrate, restore, upgrade. So upgrade tells us um, good stuff. Next, uh, there's a license agreement here. Next, or accept. Yeah, we have to, otherwise, it'll just bring us out. Then we need to put in the full qualified name of the server, and it has that address vcenter 65.local that has turned out to have that was a bad name i gave it back then but um yeah we're gonna call it that again just to not connect to source uh, apparently it works well enough to, to get the next screen so we need some password you think here so i'm gonna type in the passwords for these Passwords. Then we need the host IP. We'll just give it the IP number here. So we'll give it the root. Just gonna check the root address. Go and check that IP number. There. Just needed to be sure what password this was. Let's go back. Just was right. That's, oh, is there anything further down? Yes. Single sign on. Okay, I've changed this again. See if that's the right one. Something else is happening. I think I got it. Yeah, cool. So the host we have this on, yeah, let's adjust, 
just put that in. I don't know why it wants that again. Or actually, I could put it somewhere else if I wanted to, so that's probably why. Yes. So the old name was this vCenter 65. Um, so let's just call it vCenter 67. Set root password. Okay, I'm gonna be very careful to set exactly the same root password. So that I don't have to uh, change my documentation too much. Next. Uh, we can uh, select different sizes of this. I don't have that many machines, so tiny. I think 10 hosts and 100 VMs will be sufficient. Continue. Uh, we can pick a data store. I believe that one would be good for this. Next. Insufficient space. 300 gigabytes. Yikes. 300 gigabytes. Uh, maybe if we enable thin provisioning, will that work? Yeah, <laughs> got you. So we need some network. That is good. That is good. Temporary IP address. Um, okay. Let's give it some. The, the other one is 65, so let's just call this 66. Subnest mask. That's 24. Gateway, that's this, but with a one. DNS, let's just give it the gateway. That's also DNS, must be okay. Uh, a summary of all the things that I've picked. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. Finish. And it's gonna be doing this. It's probably gonna take forever. So um, I'll be back when it's when for. Oh. And then it runs rather fast. Ah, this is still too slow. Um, okay, that is completed. And it now says that we can continue. So let's do that. It also gives us the address down here. I don't know if I can copy paste that. Need that, so let's do that. Continue. See what it does. If we are completed or done, or it would be nice. Let's see, introduction. Uh, we're gonna be upgrading this next. Saving parameters. Pre upgrade check are in progress. I really hope this will work. Uh, last time I tried to upgrade my vCenter, that didn't go well. So I'm sure that that was not my problem, it was their problem, I'm, I'm sure. Okay, it comes up with these check results, which I was um, told doesn't matter, it's just probably just warning me about the obvious. Yeah, we'll close that. And I have been looking on this online and uh, they suggest to use the third option down here. More or less, it will, it will. I think it will take over everything. So all, all data and stuff will also be into one. We'll try that one. Do we want to join this program? Uh, just gonna be sniffing. Sure. And still using the temporary address. So we're gonna end up on that version. Cool, let's do that. Oh, I must acknowledge that was what they hit down here. I have backed up. Oh, yeah, I haven't really, but I don't have anything. I will, I will survive if it goes. Forever. Yes, yes. Shut down more. Okay. We're shutting down. <laughs> Everything works perfectly now. Um, I fucked up the sound. I forgot to put the plug in from my microphone here. Um, so you're gonna be getting a little bit of footage here with me locking in different places, checking everything out. Everything is good. All my data is here, all my servers are there. Um, 
that was really irritating. I really need a new setup. I have this lapel crap. It's not the first time that I lost footage because I forgot to plug the plug-in or the battery ran dry on my solution for that. Ah, gravity crap. Yeah, this is not the first time this has happened. I have this thing that um, rec sends the, the sound from my lapel mic over to the camera to try and reduce some of the noise in the background. And well, I have also tried with the battery just ran dry on me doing recording, but never mind. This worked. Um, I am now up to VMware vSender 6.7.0 released 12,000 I guess it was saying in there so yeah success and it wasn't even a big problem this time awesome so thank you very much for watching my videos do sub thank you very much for watching my videos do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again join me over at Twitter where I do stuff Facebook where I also do stuff Patreon where we do stuff together like awesome patrons sending me awesome stuff not complaining at all there so um have a really nice day bye bye